There you go. It's Sunday. Somehow we're awake. Somehow we're here. Uh, hello, yeah, hello again. Thank you very much for coming. So, normally on the screen behind me, there'd probably be like a big blue screen with the company logo for all the anime, probably be the date mentioned, and we would have some kind of presentation ready to go. The stars have aligned perfectly where well, that's not the case. Normally, I would be joined on stage by Andy Hanley, who is currently stuck in a room somewhere else in the building. Not even joking. And he has got the presentation. So what you have got for the next couple of minutes is me winging it. Because that's how we roll here. So, welcome to the All The Anime panel. Who here does not know what All The Anime is? Who I am? Why I've just told you I'm winging it? Anything like that. Who does not know anything about All The Anime? Three people don't know about All The Anime. This will make things interesting. So, for the benefits of the three people, first of all, welcome. We are one of the distributors of anime here in the UK. We like to do tons of different releases, be it on home video, we go digital. We also do stuff in the cinema as well. We do it on DVD and Blu-ray. We like to release things in a simple way, a collector's way, then an ultimate way, where your wallet and your bank account may be hurt pretty bad. But we love releasing anime. It's, we're all massive fans of anime in the office, and it's why even if things get delayed a little bit, we always try our best to bring you the best release we possibly can. This weekend alone, we've got a bunch of new stuff available to purchase from the All The Anime stand, which you, if you have not been there yet, it is in the South Hall. If you head to block S2, you will literally see the All The Anime stand. It's got the logo across it like 10 times. You will see it. There is a little bit of Kyoto Animation merchandise left last I checked. There is not a lot because you guys love Kyoani. Any Kiyomani fans here? I'm really glad that got a response because that could have been really bad otherwise. We've also got some really cool looking Evangelion posters as well that are officially licensed. If you came to the panel yesterday for the anime guest of honor for Hibiki Yoshizaki, the director of Mememe, we've also got some cool posters for him as well. There is also a signing session with him, totally free, once again at the Mimimi exhibition stand, which is just sort of down the road, if you will from the All The Anime stand by Block S2. Totally free, and it's at 3 p.m. You can get a signing card signed, or if you buy one of the posters from the stand, you can get that signed. It's all good, that's how we like it. So first of all, have you guys had a good weekend here? Yeah. Good. Now, the next thing I want to address is how many of you were here at the panel on Friday that we did, the All The Anime panel? Thank you very much. A couple of questions arose from this on Twitter, which I want to take a moment to clarify. So, Cowboy Bebop, any Cowboy Bebop fans here? Yes. <laughs> I don't know if you all heard that reaction down there, but please, please don't keel over at Cowboy Bebop. I appreciate the enthusiasm, at the same time, we need you alive. So, we've got the Cowboy Bebop Ultimate Edition coming out later this year. Now, to confuse matters, and because logistics are a thing that go really, really well, if this panel currently is anything to go by, on the advert next to the demo unit of Cowboy Viva Ultimate Edition that we have at the All The Anime stand, you will see the details of what is included, which is also what we showed you on the big screen the other day. And on that sign, it will say, pre-order now. That was the plan. The plan did not work. So you will be able to pre-order it within the next couple of weeks. The best thing I can suggest is keep an eye on us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or even just our website, alltheanime.com. As soon as we have got everything lined up, ready to go, we will make it known as soon as possible. Because it would make sense if you could pre-order it now, if that's what we say, but life deals cards in very, very funny ways. So today, providing Andy can get out of the room and make it here with what we have got to show you, we do have some announcements to share with you on some forthcoming titles, in addition to what was announced the other day. But I will take the opportunity to mention an upcoming title of ours in the cinema called Mirai. How many of you are aware of Mirai? Cool. If you're not, I will quickly enlighten you. It is the new film by Mamoru Hosoda, who was the director of The Boy and the Beast, Summer Wars, Wolf Children, The Girl Who Let Through Time, some really, really great films, which no doubt you've probably seen before. The new film, 2nd of November, in the cinema. Gonna be around the UK, you can book tickets now at miraifilm.co.uk. And if you want to check out 
some cool stuff relating to Mamoru and Soda. We've actually got part of an exhibition that we had running in London about a week ago, very close to our stand by all the anime, Block S2. There's a pattern here, you'll notice this. It's actually very, very close to the Mimimi stand as well. We've got a little exhibition there, a few bits and bobs for you to check out. Really, really worth going out of your way to see if you are a fan of Mamoru Soda. So what I'm going to do now is completely change the goalposts on things. Normally at the end of a panel, we would do a QA. and I'm going to do it now, because that is how things roll today. So, the way I'm going to work this, uh, we've got a microphone just down here. If you would like to ask a question, stand up, come on down to the microphone, and uh, let's just go with it. It's anything goes, you can ask me whatever you want. Whether I like Coke or Pepsi, don't let the fact I was drinking a can of Coke a second ago, because I really need some sugar in me, fool you. And if you've been here on past panels, you will know what the answer is. So, question one, let's see how we do. Hi, um, when are we likely to see the rest of the other March come to like a lion? When are you going to see the rest of March comes in like a lion? Specifically, we only have the rights for season one of the show. As far as I'm aware, this could have changed in the last 24 hours for all I know. But part one is available actually now on the All The Anime stand, and part two is available this coming month, but we've also got that on the All The Anime stand. The gentleman you see pelting it down the aisle and running across is Mr. Andy Hanley, my, my partner in crime. He got out of the room, everybody, that he was trapped in. He got out. So now, we'll have two more questions, and then we'll get to the panel proper and make this show a show. So, question two. So for Violet Evergarden, for those of you who don't know, it's a show by Kyoto Animation. It's part of the merchandise that we had from Kyoto Animation at our All The Anime stand. All of those books that you saw and whatnot was a special arrangement that we made with the Kyoto Animation shop in Japan. Doesn't necessarily reflect what may be included in our release down the line, but I can assure you, we've got some things planned. Reactions are wonderful. So we've definitely got some stuff planned for our release. Can't share details at this time, but as per usual, as soon as we know, you guys will know once everything is signed, sealed, and hopefully delivered. Yes? Um, back in May, you announced that you were releasing Gundam 00 on Blu-ray. We did, didn't we? Is there any new information about that that you can share today? As it stands, and Andy may correct me if I'm wrong in a second, as far as I'm aware, there is no new information at this time, but that is because we are currently waiting on materials to be delivered. Hopefully, it will be a relatively quick process for what we've got in mind. We're still looking to try and keep it as part of our Gundam collection series that we've been all alone. There you go. There's the big blue screen I was telling you about. So, Andy, Gundam double, double, o, double Zero, whichever the correct way is to pronounce, because my brain is fried. Uh, yeah, you're, you're absolutely on the money. Yeah, we're currently waiting for the materials to arrive. Once that's done, we will be cracking on with the release and uh, seeing what we can do. Obviously, it's a much beloved series. We want to uh, give it as much love as possible. So hopefully, we can make a, a really awesome set out of it. So we've uh, we've got some really good plans for it. So hopefully, everything will come together and it will be uh, as fantastic as we want it to be. Thank you. You got it. And now that Andy Hanley is on stage, the marketing manager of, an, of all the anime and anime limited, I should probably introduce myself properly, seeing as you've been hearing me rabbit on for 10 minutes. I'm Jeremy Graves, marketing executive of all the anime, whatever that means. So uh, yeah, we are from all the anime. We're gonna to talk to you about a bunch of stuff. Let's see how much you're about to see again, which I've already mentioned to you in this presentation. Andy, let's go for it. Yeah, I, I'm gonna say, like, what, what did we miss? So I guess, <laughs> I guess you've told people who we are. I hope you've, you've done that bit at least. Yeah, so Next. we like to release really cool things, as you can see. Have you talked about the amazing titles on our stand? I did not get this far yet. Excellent. Well, so, we've got Code Geass, Lelouch of the Rebellion 1 Initiation. The first of the trilogy of films celebrating the 10 year anniversary, yes it is that old everyone, feel old, of Code Geass. This is the first film, it is subtitled only because there is no dub for the film. But we didn't want to wait to release it, so we're making it available first. We are the first English territory to give you an option to buy this film. So if you want to pick it up, head over to the Audi Anime stand and hopefully, touch wood if I've not been told otherwise, we've still got a few copies of it ahead of its general release this coming November which is, what, a couple of days away at this point, I remember. So next month, there you go. 
Yeah, so alongside that, we also have a mobile suit Gundam Thunderbolt to send the sky, a, a fantastic addition to our Gundam collection, and a really good entry point for anybody who's not really seen any Gundam before, so uh, that is also well worth checking out. Possibly my favourite Gundam thing, so uh, I recommend it highly personally. Next up, we've got the film from the producer of Your Name, that being Fireworks. So if you enjoyed Your Name, Maybe you want to check out Fireworks as well. We've got advanced copies of that ahead of its, really, of its general retail release in November here today at the All The Anime Standby Block S2. Indeed, and then we have, uh, I know, one of Jeremy's favourites, which is uh, a Manchu season one, which is a, a really fun slice of life show. Um, it's really cute, has some really nice visuals. Um, we put some really fun stickers with all the crazy, super deformed faces that the characters have in, in our collector's edition. It's a really nice set. It's the first place you can uh, buy it on Blu-ray outside of Japan, so um, that is also well worth uh, checking out at our stand. It's a really fun series if you've not seen it before. But also available to purchase the Tokyo Ghoul Limited Edition Collection on Blu-ray. If you've not started your Tokyo Ghoul Collection yet, perfect way to dive in to the franchise. You may be familiar with the series K, which was originally released by Manga Entertainment if memory serves. Correct. This is technically now part two and three which are available, that being Missing Kings and Return of Kings. So if you've been someone eagerly anticipating the next two parts of the K franchise, which in itself, a very interesting franchise to try and Google, believe me, you can get it right now. Yes, and then we also have parts one and two of season one of March Comes In Like a Lion, which is a gorgeous looking show by uh, Shaft, same production studio as Fireworks, which we previously mentioned. It's a really interesting, unique kind of uh, drama story about a teenage boy and his kind of uh, struggles with depression and trying to find his place in the world. Um, it's also based around the game of Shogi, aka Japanese chess. So it has a lot of unique elements to it, but it's a really interesting and, and relatable story. So, uh, so well worth looking at. And then for those of you bursting with excitement, We've also got the testament of Sister New Devil Burst waiting to be added to your collection. That is all I will say on it. <laughs> have you told them about the amazing Meme Met exhibition yet? I have mentioned the exhibition, but we do have some posters, as I mentioned. Now, conveniently, the official art book, which is pictured here, which standing really close to this image, blown up like this, is really weird, I'm not going to lie, but there we go. The actual official art book, Meme Meme Book Book Book, that is the real title of it, it's awesome, is actually sold out because all of you guys snap that up really quickly, but we do still have some posters on sale ahead of the, uh, I was about to say ahead of the exhibition later, that's not the right word, ahead of the signing session later. Yes, indeed, it's funny you mention that because that is the next slide. So yes, if you swing by the Memonet -Mem exhibition stand from 3 till 4 p.m. this afternoon, you can meet uh, the creator, Hibiki Yoshizaki himself, and get something signed. Um, it's a free signing session, we have signing cards for you, so we can get those signed, but yeah, if you want to go pick up one of those amazing posters, which are selling out pretty fast, so you may want to uh, make tracks down there, then he will be more than happy to sign it for you, and uh, so come by, say hello, he's a really great guy. Yeah, he, I would tell you guys as well, having had a chance to spend a bit of time with him this morning, he was so happy with the reaction of all of you guys yesterday, from the panel, the signing session, he has had a great time here, so if you've not had a chance to meet him yet, and you want to get something signed, your last opportunity is at 3pm today. Indeed. And did you tell people that that's not the only exhibition we have at Comic Con? Indeed, I did mention uh, the, the Hosoda exhibition that we have here. Excellent. Um, so yes, yeah, so, I mean, obviously that leads into uh, Mirai coming to cinemas. Second of November, people. It's a week. It's a week. It's under a week away. It is under a week away now. So yes, yeah, we've uh, a few days ago we announced some of the English dub cast. So if you're going to want, go into one of the English dub screenings, there are some very recognisable names that are involved with that. Um, and yeah, as you can see, some top screenings from the second of November, dubbed from the fourth. Um, it will hopefully be running in a lot of cinemas through that following week. So chances are there will be a screening near you at a hopefully convenient time. So uh, be sure to, to check it out. Um, has everybody here kind of seen any of the posters or seen anything around Mirai? Great sign, no one's seen them. Yeah, That's a really good sign. There well, you go. Well, I guess yeah. we'd better show them the trailer so that they know a little bit more about there the you film go. in that case. I don't know. It's probably one of my wallpapers, I'm, I'm guessing. Because, you know. So, so, do you know what, right? I, I might as well detour to this for a second to fill time. There you go. That's there is a running gag in our office that the, the wallpapers of other computer screens need to be of a certain thing. And for whatever reason, our company president has made it so that most wallpapers need to be of George Michael. 
<laughs> so I got a new work laptop earlier this year. The first thing I see when it's given to me and I open up the screen is George Michael on my screen. I'm not even joking. He has gone against the company code. I want this known. My personal laptop is fine. I can do what I like. But anyway, take two on the mirror trailer. Hopefully now with audio. Fantastic film, suitable for all the family. There's something for everybody, so definitely don't miss it. It is well worth going to see. So, on that note, did, did you tell them about the posters of Ray, Asker, and that other girl? <laughs> that other girl has a name, Andy. That's but uh, yes, I did mention the Evangelion posters. Here is a preview of some of them for you, including Mari at the end. <laughs> yeah, Has hashtag best girl. By that one. <laughs> so yeah, Evangelion places. We're not getting commission or anything for this. I'm not even joking. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, well worth checking out. Um, we were on our Friday panel. We also mentioned the Kyoto Animation merchandise that we have uh, on our stand. But to be honest, the vast majority of it has sold out at this point. There are still some odds and ends available, so swing on by if you're a fan of Kyoani. But a lot of that has gone. The uptake on that merchandise has been fantastic to see. So thank you to anybody who's already been by and, and bought some cool stuff there. Uh, but uh, another thing to mention is that uh, we are joining forces with our friend at, friends at Crunchyroll for this London Comic Con. Uh, so if you swing by the far side of stand S400 in the South Wall, you will find them there where they have, uh, they have a few things of their own going on, which uh, Jeremy can uh, fill us in on, I'm sure. Yeah, we've got a stamp rally going on there. Going to be giving away a bunch of cool prizes, totally free to enter. All you've got to do is visit five stands, including the Crunchyroll one. Get a stamp on a bit of paper at the, at the five stands, return said bit of paper, fill in a few details, you are entered into the rally, and you can rinse, win some pretty cool swag. Simple as that. So if you want to win some cool prizes potentially, and there may be a giant gathering of people at around 4pm by the Crunchyroll section, come on over, it's going to be a good laugh, trust me. Yes, indeed. So, yep, if you're a premium member, we have places for you. We have wristbands for everybody, and uh, we have some Crunch Roll titles on home video on the stand. And, yeah, join that stamp rally, because there are some really cool prizes. And, uh, again, lots of people really interested in that. But uh, make sure you get your stamps in by 4 p.m., and you can win some cool stuff. So, speaking of Crunch Roll, we, we are uh, working quite closely with them on a couple of big uh, streaming shows for this autumn season. Uh, the second season of Take a Ghoul RE is now streaming. Uh, new episodes every Tuesday at 4 pm. So, if you're a Take a Ghoul fan, then you can uh, keep up with all the latest as that series comes to a close. So, uh, make sure you check that out. Um, and also, in terms of big name titles for the autumn, there is Sword Art Online Alicization, aka Sword Art Online Season 3. Anybody here watching that already? Okay, a few people. Uh, so yeah, that, that is, uh, is streaming on Crunchyroll by ourselves, and uh, as we mentioned on Friday, we do have the home video rights as well. Obviously, a long way off having anything to say about when that will come out, or how it will come out, but uh, rest assured, you will be able to uh, pick up um, Sword Art Online Alicization on Blu-ray at some point in the future. Which uh, I guess brings us rather conveniently to um, probably what you're really here for, and this is the, uh, the new title announcement stuff. Indeed. It's the part I mentioned that would be happening if Andy could get out of the locked room. Now we can finally bring it to you after all the preamble and such. So Andy, how are we going to kick things off? Well. I mean, we've just talked about Sword Art Online Season 3. Obviously, we have the rights to Sword Art Online Season 2 and the film, Ordinal Scale. Um, but there's one quite recent kind of omission in terms of the, the grand scheme of all things Sword Art Online that uh, we just haven't talked about at all. So it's probably time that we uh, fill in that gap. So yeah, everyone, we've got Gun Gale Online. More Sword Art. I'm excited for this. Hopefully you guys are. Are you? Yeah! Thank God for that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really excited that we have this as well. Like, you know, obviously this is not mainline Sword Art Online, so when it got announced, a lot of people were like, oh, I don't know about that, but it turned out to be a really amazing series. Like, it was a lot of fun. It has a lot of good original characters of its own. It makes good use of the, the Gun Girl Online setting, and it is a really, really great little series. One of the things about Sword Art Online before this series was announced that I was really interested in was if they could explore other elements of the world. Because even, like, I know we don't have the rights to season one specifically, but even in that original season, there were so many other things that I wanted to know about. And this is almost a first step, I would like to think, 
in other elements of Sword Art Online being explored, and Gun Gale Online is a great way to be able to, to start that trade off if it is something that carries on in the future. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, yeah, coming to home video in 2019 sometime. Don't have any further plans to announce at this point, but uh, keep your eyes peeled because it is coming. So, uh, it's time for uh, another announcement and uh, another trailer now. So, yeah, everyone. Any Persona 5 fans in the house? Cool, so if you were here back in May, you may recall we announced that we had rights to the, the new, at the time, Persona 5 series. A lot of people online, and also at the event itself, sort of mentioned to us, what about the Daybreakers? For those of you who don't know what this is, before the series started airing, and I think it was just before the game actually came out in Japan, wasn't it? Originally, yeah, it was around that time. It was around that time. There was a special episode, if you will, created to sort of help hype the game up a bit, and it was the first, in essence, Persona 5 episode that was released. So, we did a bit of digging, spoke to some people and whatnot, signed some contracts and such, and we are happy to say we do have the right to this episode as well. Now, the, the random catch, I suppose, at the moment, is we can't actually say how it's going to be released by us, because we literally don't know all the specifics yet as to whether it could be included with our release of the series, if it may have to be done separately, such and such. But we at least want to make it known we do have the rights to this in addition to the series. Yes, indeed. I mean, we've previously released uh, Persona 3, uh, the Persona 3 movies on home video, and now we have Persona 5 as well. So uh, it's cool to have uh, a couple of uh, big chunks of Persona uh, at our, at our disposal, and it's nice that we're finally able to let the cat out of the bag. I did not see he had that key answers presentation. You see, it's all planned. That's an awesome key art. Can I get that as a poster? Yeah, maybe. Maybe we need to work on Persona merchandise. That would be that'd be pretty cool. So, don't, uh, don't spread ideas like that, Andy. You'll be held. I know. I shouldn't. I shouldn't do that live <laughs> on stage, should I? Uh, so yeah, so on to our next announcement now. Um, you may have seen over the course of this year, uh, we released uh, Andrea, if I can say it. Angelic Leia on Blu-ray, um, and we also announced that, that we hold the rights to Cardcaptor Sakura Movie 2, with kind of a view to doing more with Cardcaptor Sakura in the future. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, you can probably expect more at some point along those lines. Uh, so I think it's fair to say that we're, we're big fans of Clamp here. And of course Code Geass as well, character design. And indeed, Code Geass has character designs by Clamp, so uh, we're kind of carrying on down that train a little bit. Best really reaction of the weekend right there. <laughs> so yeah guys, Magic Knight Rhea is coming to the UK. Now, as a fan of some proper old school animation, watching that, watching that video makes me so happy. I love that kind of look of animation and and Magic Knight Rhea is finally coming back to the UK. Yes, indeed. I mean, I, I will openly admit I've not seen this show before, but then when we put this trailer together, I watched that animation as like, I want to watch this, I'm going to grab the discs as soon as we get them in the office, because uh, that looks real awesome. And uh, we should also note as well, it's actually like the, the full series that we're releasing, correct Andy? Yes, it is the complete series, so yes, and it is uh, coming to, to Blu-rays. So uh, again, don't have an exact time frame or you know, what we'll be able to do in terms of you know, collector's edition packaging, etc, etc. But watch this space and we will update you as soon as we, uh, as soon as we firm up some details. So there you go, folks, Magic Knight Rayo. And clearly at least one person's really happy, so I'm down with that. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Out of interest, just with a show of hands, how many people are at least aware of Magic Knight Rayo? Okay. Sweet. Well, yeah. Good. That's a good sign, Andy. We chose well. Yes, we did. <laughs> So right, so on to our next announcement now. This, this is actually one that I've been wanting to talk about and announce for a little while, but uh, to be I honest... Mean, we also only got the green light on this about two hours ago, didn't we? Uh, no, this is a different one. Oh! oh. Um, so yeah, this, this is one that, that I've been looking forward to announcing, but to be honest, we've, we've been dancing around being able to announce it, but finally we can, uh, we can show it off to you. So yeah, guys, welcome to the ballroom. I, I'll be honest. This skimmed my brain as I was thinking a second ago. That's why I went a bit loopy there. I'm genuinely excited about this because I've got a bit of a dancing and sort of musical theatre background. So when I found out we were going to be releasing this, I was super, super jazzed. How many of you out there have heard of this series? Awesome. Really cool to see. Yeah, it's a really cool show. You know, it was uh, a surprise hit in its original manga form in Shonen Jump magazine. Because I was like, what? A manga about gore and dancing? Why is that in Shonen Jump? And then people started reading it and realised why. And it's made an amazing transition to anime. Like the animation is, is incredible, and uh, it's it's a really 
interesting and unique story, but it's still kind of, you know, if you enjoy stuff like, um, I don't know, like any of the sports kind of anime that have been, been around in recent years, like it has that, but it also has like the drama and character development of, of that sort of, you know, different series as well. So it's got a, got a lot to offer. So really excited that we're, uh, we get to bring that to, to Blu-ray at some point. So uh, again, it's on our 2019 slate currently. Watch this space for more details as we have it. So uh, that brings us to an announcement that is so unique we don't even have a trailer for it because it's something that hasn't been released in any Western Territory anywhere. Not streaming, not home video, it simply hasn't happened before. This one is a bit of a passion project for um, Andrew Partridge, our, our company CEO. It's a series he really liked and thought we'd never be able to get a hold of. And it's one of those things whenever he goes out to Japan on business, he kind of prods various people and says, is there any way I can get hold of this show? And it's never borne through until now. So uh, we can reveal today that we're going to release a series called Bartender on Blu-ray in 2019, which nobody, as mentioned, has ever done before. Now, I see a lot of confused faces. Do not worry, you have the right to be confused, because chances are you may not actually even be aware of this series. No, indeed. I mean, it kind of does exactly what it says on the tin. It is the story of a bartender, a particularly proficient bartender, who's very good at making cocktails. Um, and really, it's an episodic show. It's 11 episodes, it's episodic. Every episode is basically a different person walking into this guy's bar with their own life, their own problems, and their problems kind of get fixed by this bartender, by a mixture of talking about their issues and alcohol, which, you know, Having had a long weekend at Comic Con, I can tell you, that kind of works. Just talk, have a drink, everything's fine. So yeah, we're, we're very excited to be releasing this, and as the first English distributor anywhere in the world to be bringing this to home video, it is something really cool and unique that we're able to bring to the UK, and it's something that we love doing based on all the, the unique projects that we've done in the past that just haven't seen the light of day elsewhere. Absolutely, yeah. Like, it's one of the things that we love to do at this company. You know, we're all anime fans, we all have our own kind of passions and things that we love. And it's really amazing when one of us gets to work on something that we really, really personally love. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm fascinated to see what we can do with this one and, and how, how people take to it. Because, yeah, you know, we're, we're very used to an era where everybody has seen everything that we announce because it's all streamed somewhere. But this, like, I'm sure somebody somewhere has seen it, but, you know, not many people. So it's cool to do something that uh, is a little bit out of the ordinary. Which uh, brings us to our final announcement and the one that Jeremy, Jeremy mentioned that we literally only got clearance on a couple of hours ago. Um, so we've been chasing around all weekend trying to get contracts signed and sealed and delivered because basically we wanted to close out our announcements for today with a punch and we felt like this was the best way to do it. I'm so hyped for this. I'm going to try and contain all the excitement. Megalo Box is coming to home video. If you've not seen it before, it's a series that aired earlier this year, wasn't it? Yes. Admittedly, all the years just kind of blend together at this yes, point. Yeah, really. but yeah, it, it aired year. earlier this year in Japan. It was simulcast as well. And yeah, we're delighted that we're going to be able to bring it to home video. I'm so excited. If, even if you're not a fan of boxing, which I'm not, I'll be straight up. This thing is so cool. It's got an air of kill the kill about it. But mixed in with boxing, and it was to celebrate one of the big anniversaries of um, Ashita no Joe. Ashita no Joe. And as someone has never seen Ashita no Joe before, I went in blind to this, loved it every single second of it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the official pitch for this is yeah, like it's a reimagining or kind of a, a reboot of Ashita no Joe, but given a kind of, you know, cyberpunky kind of makeover. My unofficial pitch for it is it's like a red line with boxing. Um, so, uh, yeah, like, it's a really great show. Like, just watching that trailer, on, like, I, got, I literally got a shiver down my spine because, like, it's such an amazing-looking show. Like, they've done a really interesting thing with it visually where they've tried to make it look like an old-school kind of 70s, 80s-era anime with some kind of filtering and effects. But it still has all the kind of, you know, all the things that we enjoy from modern animation as well. It has an amazing soundtrack. Um, and the story is, is absolutely killer. Like it, some of the cliffhangers it had, as somebody who watched it week on week, were just absolutely destroyed me. Like I had to wait an entire week to find out what happened next. So uh, you won't have that problem with our home video release. So uh, yeah, really, really thrilled that we're getting to bring this to the UK. So obviously we heard a few people were excited about it, but with a show of hands, how many of you are aware of Megalobox? Awesome. Most of you. And uh, if you've never heard of it, but that trailer's interested you, put your hand up. Awesome. Excellent. Sweet. 
Cool, we've done our job. There you go, <laughs> paid the bills, as it were. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, that's it for announcements, so I guess we've got time for some more questions, if uh, anybody yeah, has Yeah, time for part two of the Q&A, <laughs> given the way this panel works out. So, uh, let's see, how long have we got? Have we got a, uh, just over five minutes or so, so let's do some rapid fire, let's see how we do. First up. Oh, could you tell me if you've got any plans for the coming of Solar Online Season 3 and Gunga Online? So when it comes to the dub of Solar Online Season 3 and Gunga, you said, right? Yes. Cool, sorry, the audio's a bit weird up here at the moment. Um, at the moment, no information regarding the English dubbing of it, because it's not something that we specifically will be involved with. But I would like to think, personal opinion here I should say, not representative of the company, but given that the previous seasons did get a dub, I would find it surprising if these didn't. Yeah, and certainly if there is an English dub, we will of course include it, so uh, it will almost certainly be on our release if, uh, if it is indeed produced, which, as Jeremy says, it seems pretty likely. Thank you. No you got it. Hello again. Uh, any word on the main of this? Like, if it's ever in a stream, video, or ever come to the UK in a film. Made in Abyss has been licensed by MVM Entertainment, so our friends at MVM have that one, which I'm a little sore about personally, because I would have loved for us to have it, but I'm sure they'll, uh, they'll give it a great release, so uh, keep your eye on their feeds for that, I guess. But the main thing is, it's getting a UK release. Absolutely. That's the main thing at the end of the day. Hi, uh, you said you were releasing the complete series of Magic Knight Breaker. Uh, do you have any plans for the OVX? I mean, I know they weren't very good, but do you have any plans for the OVX? <laughs> As far as I'm aware, and this could change for all I know, it is just the series we're doing and it won't be the OVAs. Yes, yeah, as far as I'm aware, yeah, I think our contract is just for the series. Um, but when you when, say the complete series, you do mean both one and two. But yeah, so there are 50 or so episodes, I think it is. I think so, I've only got all the region one DVD. There you go, so. But yeah, so just the, the mainline series, if you're not the actual OVA version. Yeah, again, we will update people kind of closer to the time if, if, you know, if we can get hold of the OVAs or we find that they're included. But yeah, I would expect it to be just the TV series. Return of Kings and Missing Kings specifically we have, isn't it? That is correct, yeah. Currently we only have Missing Kings and Return of Kings. I mean, obviously, you know, having gone down that path, we're certainly looking into uh, into that UK project and seeing, you know, if it's available, if it's something we can pick up. So, yeah, keep your eyes peeled. It's certainly something that, that we have on our radar, so we'll, we'll let people know if we, uh, if we do end up uh, acquiring that. Because the first couple of those has just been shown in Japan, hasn't it, I think? Possibly. One or two of them just been shown, I think. So, uh, Hopefully, who knows, but it, like Andy said, definitely on our radar, though. Do you know to get how much that Cowboy Bebop box is going to be? Price of the Cowboy Bebop, Andy? Uh, yeah, so the SRP of the Cowboy Bebop Ultimate Edition should be around the £299 mark. Obviously, we will be doing um, a special early bird pre-order on our own store. Um, Zavi will have their own retailer discounts on their store, so you can expect to pay less for that. Um, obviously, we will reveal that pricing as soon as we have it locked down, and uh, hopefully pre-orders will be up in, in a couple of weeks or so. So uh, keep an eye on, on our site, and uh, we should be able to uh, provide it soon. Um, so what? Sorry, mate, can you get a bit closer to the microphone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I apologise if someone asked this already, but has, is there any update on like, the use of the Blu rays or uh, anything? Update on, update on your tenor? Yeah. Uh, at the moment, nothing specific. We know we announced it quite a while ago at this point, there's been no update, but uh, funnily enough, it is actually something I prodded our production team about this weekend. So, what I'm hoping is there may be some news within the next month or two that we can share. But last I heard, I think we're still waiting to receive some materials, which is why there has been no news to this point. But it is definitely on the radar of the production team because we have raised it to them. Yeah, so exactly. probably that. Um, are there any other old anime series that you're looking to get your hands on? So I guess I should clarify, is this us towing the company line perspective or is this a personal preference that we want? Either. Personal preference, there's a reason I wanted to make sure. <laughs> Personal preference, I want Dominion Tank Police on Blu-ray. <laughs> I'm an old school guy, I need some Dominion on Blu-ray. Desperately. 
Whether that will happen or not is another question, but again, personal preference. Indeed. So I guess I'll, I'll be the guy that does the company bit. Um, there are a few titles that, that we're looking at. Um, you know, we're, we're always kind of, you know, interested in bringing back some of the old classics. If you're here on Friday, you will notice we announced Cyber City 080808 is coming back. We're releasing that on Blu-ray with the original English dub and Manga UK soundtrack. Part of the non-existent beer and curry line coming from yes, that indeed. Limited. Um, so yeah, you know, we're, we're definitely into re-releasing classic series. We're kind of at the point where there's, there's a whole bunch of kind of 90s anime in particular that's kind of fallen out of print that we would, you know, we'd like to bring back to the UK. Uh, some of it is a little tangled rights-wise these days, but there's certainly, you know, we're always looking at some of those titles, and there are a few that we have our eye on that, you know, we, we would love to be able to bring back to the UK and to kind of, you know, give them a, a fresh coat of paint, as it were. So it's definitely something we'd like to do more of moving forward. So, yeah, watch this space. Do you guys have any plans, or uh, would you ever have plans to release, uh, if not already, uh, Sayuki? Sayuki uh, franchise. Oh, so like a Sayuki, Sayuki Reload, and That's what's the most recent one? Sayuki yeah. Reload Blast. And, yeah, and uh, maybe Gaiden as well, the OVA. Yeah. yeah. Uh, honestly, it's not something we have the license to. Okay. If anyone else does, we can't speak to that. Okay. But I have heard from some Sayuki fans recently, genuinely, I have, like actually reaching out, going, hey, any chance? And I know that with the most recent season, being, it got a simul double Funimation now, if I remember correctly, as well as being simulcast subtitled. It wouldn't surprise me if it did get a release, but as to whether it would be from us or not, I cannot say. Yes, indeed. I remember MVM, I think, released Sayuki Reload back in the day on DVD. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, as Jeremy says, no plans at the moment, but we will let people know if that changes. Do you know what? I can't say yes, I can't say no. Okay. Because, as we were just sort of mentioning, looking into all the catalogue titles is something that we're interested in and something that we can always explore. So, who knows? Stranger things have happened. Awesome. And you know the title as well? Pardon? You know the title as well? It does ring a bell on my brain. Admittedly, my brain is a bit shot this weekend because there's been a lot going on, but it does genuinely ring a bell. Genuinely, when we next see our, when we next get a chance to have a meeting back at HQ, we will mention it and see if there is something we can do. I can't promise, but I promise you we'll mention it, okay? You got it. And I think with that being said, what time for one more question? One more question, here we go. Hey, um, is there any news for the second part of 3 Three zero part two. Wow. So the short version is no news at the moment. Uh, we're waiting on materials to be delivered because it's just taken longer than an originally anticipated. But, uh, but we know there are a lot of people waiting for it, like yourself, like myself. I want it. So uh, hopefully there'll be some news soon, but at the moment, nothing definitive to say, right, Andy? Yes, that's exactly right. Yeah, as, as the guy who has RAM and RAM figures on my desk in the office, I'm kind of chopping at the bit for it as well. Um, yeah, we'll hopefully receive video materials soon. Everybody is kind of on tent hooks waiting for them. You know, I know the US release has been pushed back as well. The second we get hold of it and the second we hear about it, we will be sure to update people and uh, get the ball rolling on that because, yeah, we, we all want to get it out there into people's hands as well. Is there any chance of knowing um, about the OVA? Uh, very good question. It's a very that good will, question. That will be a separate property. Again, we'd love to do something with it, so we'll be looking into it. So whether we'll be able to do that further down the line, we will, we will certainly see. You've got it. Yeah, OVA episodes in general are, are a bit of a, a, a wild card in some cases when it comes to licensing anime. They're not sometimes part of a license for a series. So that's where the curveball comes in for that. But it is definitely something we're going to check in on, mainly because we're big fans, so we want it ourselves. But with that being said, everybody, thank you for joining us and wanting to spend part of your Sunday with us. I'm sorry it was a bit of a random panel at the start and stuff, but I hope you enjoyed yourselves at the very least. And uh, thank you very much.